everyone and welcome to DIY project this month, bath salts. So let's start with what you're supplied. We have Epsom salts, uh, one and a half cups. We have sea salt, which is three quarter cup. We have our baking soda, which is a quarter cup. Uh, we have our dried flowers, which is a mixture of four different kinds, and we're going to cover those because this is a really simple video. We're going to go into a lot more detail with like what our flowers are good for in our bath salt. So, all right. We also have our sugar cookie essential oil, and now this is optional. We also have our mica powder if you want to make it sparkly. And if you're going to use that, you are going to need a small bottle of rubbing alcohol. All right. Now, what you will need to have is very simple. It is a bowl for mixing and a spoon. That's it. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy. And if you need it, we do have a funnel for our jar for display and use. All right, so this project is actually super duper simple. It is mostly dump, stir, put into the jar. Um, so right now we're gonna add in our Epsom salts first. Just pour those into our bowl. And our sea salt. Our baking soda. Our flower petals. And about 15 or so drops of your essential oil. Depending on how smelly you want it to be. That should be good enough for me. And then we just take our spoon and we mix it all together, okay? So we're just gonna mix everything up in the bowl. And while we're mixing, we can learn about our flowers that we're putting in. So the first one we're gonna talk about is lavender, which is a beautiful flower. It's got a wonderful scent to it. I think you guys have made some projects before that have lavender as the essential oil. Part of the reason we do this, especially with like bath or body related stuff, part of the reason we use lavender is because it's great for combating stress, anxiety, and insomnia. So if you can't really get to sleep very well, sometimes just smelling some lavender can help your body calm down and wind down and take a little nap. Next up is chamomile which is wonderful for you both inside and out. You can use it in soaps, you can use it in a tea, you can use it in uh, bath salts. And it is wonderful because it is great for inflammation, muscle aches, another one for insomnia. And if you drink it in a tea, it's wonderful for if you have an upset tummy issue. All right, and then after that, we've got these beautiful little golden thread-like colored things, and those are marigold leaves. And those are actually wonderful for your outside because they're great for anti-inflammatory, which means if you've got something that's swelling up or maybe you hurt yourself or got a bug bite, it is wonderful for soothing that and making it feel better. And it also supports a healthy digestion. So maybe if you got some tummy issues, marigold is a good idea. And last but not least, we have the original herself, Rose. And roses are wonderful. They have been used in aromatherapy and tea and soap. It's been used in practically everything that is relating to a body. 
inside and out. Uh, deodorants, sprays, everything that you can think of. There's been a rose scented version. And the reason that roses are so useful are because they soothe skin irritation. Like I was saying about bug bites and things, that soothes it, that makes it feel a little bit better. Uh, they're also anti-inflammatory and they naturally reduce redness in skin. So if you've got maybe some acne or just like red bumps, I get a lot of them on the back of my arm. It's ketosis pilaris. Um, the rose actually can help make that feel and look a little less bumpy. All right, so if you are not using the mica powder, it should look pretty well mixed like this, kind of like a weird cereal. But if you're not using the mica powder, you can feel free to just go ahead and throw it into your jar. And if you have any left over, feel free to keep it in a dr cool, dry place in a plastic baggie. I'm going to be adding the mica powder so everybody can see how to do it, okay? You're going to need your alcohol and your mica powder. It's like little gold dust every time. So you are going to very lightly spray the mixture with rubbing alcohol and just be sparse with it. Don't put on too much mica powder. You really don't need very much. And then as the alcohol dries out, the, the mica powder will actually stick to the bath salts. All right, so just a little bit. Just a two spritz and just a tiny little baby amount of mica powder. And we sprinkle it in there. And then we're gonna stir it up. Oh, that's turning really pretty. That's really pretty actually. So just keep mixing and making sure that you don't have any big old white spots where there hasn't been some mica powder alcohol solution. And you don't have any clumps of mica powder because believe me, the last thing you want is to have a random clump of mica powder fall out and then you got gold stained skin. It won't actually stain your skin, but you will have to scrub with a pumice stone or pumice soap because the dye is very strong. That's why we use a very small amount. Okay. All right. That's actually looking really nicely mixed. It's got this nice little happy yellow color. I don't know if it translates on camera, but it sure shooting does here. All right. Now we're going to get our funnel if we need it. If you feel confident enough, that's perfectly fine. I don't. So I'm going to use a funnel and we've got our jar. So just place your funnel on top of the jar and then slowly scoop your bath salts into the funnel because the last thing you want to do is overload it and then have a bunch of it backed up. Okay. And if you do happen to have that happen, just pick it up, tap, tap, tap a little bit on the side and it'll come pouring out. Because some of the uh, flowers are a little bit thick, so they might get caught up in there. But that's perfectly fine and normal, and that's nothing we really have to worry about. Like I said, just a little tap, 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 and she comes pouring right out. Ooh, that's about as much as we're going to fit. Okay. Okay. So when your jar is nice and full and looks all pretty with its flowers, just put a cap on it and then use about a half to one cup per bath. So you get about two and a half baths to maybe five baths out of this, depending on how frivolous with it you want to be. But enjoy, have a wonderful, relaxing time, 
and just be sure to rinse out the tub when you're done because you want to make sure you don't leave any salt or anything on the bottom of the tub that could make somebody slip. So just make sure that you are careful and have a good time. All right, I'll see you guys next month for DIY project salt dough tags. We're going to make little sun salt dough tags for uh, summer. All right, have a great night. Bye.